Morning guys, this is Mrs. Walbeck and today what we're going to cover is drawing a landscape in one point perspective. It's a pretty basic skill in, in 3D drawing. Um, you're going to need a pencil, piece of paper, a ruler, some kind of ruler or straight edge, and it probably helps to make sure you have an eraser either on your pencil or you can get another one. The first thing you want to do is start by drawing a straight line across the middle of your paper. And this is called the horizon line. So it's perfectly horizontal. I'm gonna adjust my paper a little bit. And it goes straight across the middle of your paper. Um, next what we're gonna do is approximately in the middle, we're gonna add one little dot. Just one little dot on your horizon line. This is called one point perspective and that's our vanishing point and things are kind of going to go back to that dot. We're going to make a landscape, so the first thing I want to make going back to my dot is a road. We're going to put a road in the middle of our landscape. I'm going to draw a line that goes back to my vanishing point and I'm going to come out to this right side, draw another line. You may have done this kind of when you're kid, a kid, have a road going back. I can make it look a little bit more like a road by adding some of those lines divider lines that are in a road going back in the distance, okay? Maybe put one more there. So I have a road kind of in the middle of my paper. It's going back. These lines are called converging because they go towards the vanishing point, okay? Next thing we want to do is maybe, maybe I can add a sidewalk to mine. Now some of this stuff is going to be optional for you. You don't have to do it. But one thing I can do is add a sidewalk. So I'm going to make another converging line, which means I'm going to go towards my point. And since the sidewalk's usually on both sides of the road, I'm going to do it on both sides. And on a sidewalk, it has lines that are horizontal going across. I'm going to start in the back. And as I come forward, I can space them a little bit farther apart and it will look like it's going back in the distance. I'm going to do the same thing here, kind of close together in the distance and have them get a little farther in part as they come closer to you. The next thing you're going to have to think about is some details that you want to add in your drawing and basically what we're doing is we're creating an illusion of space in the drawing. So I may want to add some mountains back here. Maybe it comes back. Mountains aren't perfect so I'm kind of making them some some wiggly lines a little bit. And maybe I'm going to draw it so it looks like it's out west so I want it to look like a ranch or something like that. So let's put a barbed wire fence on this side. I'm going to draw a really light line at the bottom and this is a converging line, so it's going to go towards my vanishing point. Another line up. This is where my fence post for my barbed wire fence is going to fit in. Now my fence post, they go straight up and down. So I'm going to draw those within those two lines. And they're a little bit thicker since they're wooden fence posts, so I want to kind of thicken them up a little bit. Next, what I can do, I can even draw one up here. Next, what I can do is I can erase this bottom line. Remember how I said you were going to be erasing a lot? And erase the top. We needed that to make sure we got our fence posts going back in the distance. But I don't need it any longer, so I'm going to erase it out of there best as I can, and I can add my barbed wire. I'm going to have it come right through the middle, and I can even kind of line up. That should be a converging line. I want it to look like barbed wire, so I don't need it to look perfectly straight. And I'm going to draw another one. 
in order to keep our animals in. Maybe I can draw one really light that's straight and then kind of make it wiggly. And then for barbed wire, they kind of have little areas that they're twisted and they have barbs sticking out of it. So I'm just going to add some little X's going back there so it looks like it's a little prickly. Okay, so I've got my fence going on here, and later on, if I want to add some cows or a horse or something um, on my ranch, I can do that. Over here, what I want to do is maybe I'll give it a little bit of pond. So I'm going to kind of sketch in, have it go right off the side of my paper, some water. And then I want to add in, maybe I'll add in a line of trees. Maybe there's some pine trees or something that goes down this side of the road. So once again, I have to add a real light line where the bottom of the trees are going to go. And we're going to make them get pretty big. So I'm going to add on a top line very lightly because that's going to be erased. And as I draw, since these pine trees are going to kind of be in a row, I want to try to keep them so that they're, the top is going to go to this line and the bottom is going to go right to that line. I can go over a little bit. Trees aren't perfect. They're going to get wider at the bottom. I'm kind of drawing a little bit of a cone shape upside down. Obviously you could see my pond back here through this tree. That tree I need to fix a little bit. But I can get them sketched in. And on my last tree, it's going to kind of be big and wide. He's going to go all the way to that line. If I didn't want to add trees, I could add move my paper so you can see a little bit better. I could add other kinds of trees, or I could add signs that go back in the road. I'm also going to erase this top line then. That helped me so I could see the height of my trees. And this bottom line. So remember I said in the beginning, you're going to be erasing a lot. There's lines that you need in the beginning for kind of guidelines. You don't need them later on. So, and if something faint is left, when I color it in, that'll... That'll fade away. Okay. You can see that. So I could add some clouds and maybe maybe I'd want to put a cow or something over here or some kind of billboard or something like that. I could always add in. Maybe I'd add in another sign that says, you know, like speed limit or something like that. Okay, and remember to draw light until you get everything how you want it, all the details in. There's lots of details that you can add. Maybe you add like a cow or a horse over there or um, you know, whatever you want to add to your landscape, your one-point perspective landscape, it's just going to make it more interesting and make it more unique for you. You can have a car going down the road, whatever you would like. So once you get that all done, you get it kind of sketched in lightly, then you can get colored pencils and start coloring it in and uh, add more detail and more interest to it. Okay, if you need any help, just let me know. I'll be around to help you. And this is One Point Perspective Landscape.